Okay, if you're seeing this, that means that you missed this problem and that's okay, we're gonna go through it, okay? So I'm gonna start right on here at the bottom so that I have a lot of room to work with, okay? So 12 plus three times x plus six, that's what I'm gonna work with here. So my distributive property says I'm gonna multiply this three by everything inside the parentheses. So three x plus, and then three times six is 18. So when I simplify this, I take my three X's, put those together, but now I have 12 plus 18, I'm gonna have 30. That means this one is not true, okay? I'm gonna change colors and have a little more room for the next one up. I'm working my way up here. So four times three plus X plus three, I'm gonna put a dot for times because that's confusing with the X's, okay? Times two. So four times three is 12 plus four times x is four x plus, and then three times two is six, okay? Those are separate here. So I'm gonna have four x plus, and then I have 12 plus six, and that is 18. Four x plus 18, that's not true. Okay, let's go with another one here. I'm gonna go with some purple. All right, so, three times four plus x plus six. So three times four is 12, plus three times x is three x, and then plus six over here all by itself. So I can't combine these three x's with anything else, so that's as far as I can go with that, but I have 12 plus six is 18. Three x plus 18, nope, that's not a 20. Okay, let's try the last one here. Uh, let's go with maybe some orange. Okay. So I'm gonna have three times four plus x plus two times three. So three times four is gonna be 12 plus, and then I have three times x, that's three x, plus two times three is six. Okay, so I have my three x, but then I can combine the 12 and the six because they're both positives here, I just add them. So it's 18. So that answer is the first one. All right, there you go, Rams.